Hi guys, in this video we'll be handling aggregate functions in SQL and what we got here is a query which combines multiple tables and lists those Formula 1 drivers, the teams, the years and the points per race that they got. So Albon for instance was active for Red Bull in four races in 2019 and that's these are the points he got per race. In 2019 he was also active for this team and he got these points and then we go to the next driver and uh, I've just filtered the table to just include the years the 10 the, the teen years in, in uh, uh, um, like from 2010 to 2019 and all the data sorted by surname first then forename and then team right now what I'm interested in is getting the sum of each driver per year and uh, how do I do that well first of all uh, I would need one of those aggregate functions and one of them is sum and it's a quite simple function you, you just call it uh, and within the parents you just input the uh, numbers that you wish to sum results the uh, results dot uh, points and uh, now another thing is that let me take that off Another thing is that when you sum, when you use one of the aggregate functions, you have to uh, uh, clarify to SQL what are you planning to sum. And that's, what, that's what's meant by grouping. You need to do some grouping. And for instance here, what I wish to sum is basically the, the points of each driver per team per year. That means I wish to group by these four fields here. And that is the, the thing with uh, with grouping that when you do when you when you do sums when you use sums or 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 any other of the aggregate functions I'm gonna explain shortly um, you need to group by the fields you are displaying or if you can't group by this field then keep it out of the select statement so here what I need I need to group by these fields so I just can't, I might as well copy them and then go down here and say group by and then just you know paste them and then this one here just remove that as so what what is happening here is that uh, the the summation now is taking place per driver basically forename and surname then per team and then per year and now let's save that and let's run that query and you see here now I have obviously I have no filter right now but like you can see here this guy has like in 62 had zero points this guy and the same guy for another team has got a 63 zero points and so on now another thing is like I'd like to have my filter my, my from 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 before and you can't when you use um, those aggregate functions you can't use um, where you'd have to use having it's basically the same thing as where except when you do aggregate functions you use having instead of where and that goes like this having and then again my filter was uh, results uh, no races races dot year uh, like and then 21 and percent right and if i run that query now i get my data from before and you can see here that uh, so albon did the 19 for red bull uh, 76 and then for Toro Rosso 16 you can see here the grouping driver team year and then you get the sum so that sum is valid for this driver for this and team and year ditto for the 16 and so on and obviously what's uh, the name here is a bit too long I, I still gotta give it a name so I'm just might as well call it uh, sum and that would render that much more acceptable right so uh, apart from sum, we have got other aggregate functions in SQL and the next one would be max, which means the maximum points you get per race. And I can call it max. Uh, then I got like obviously min, which is basically the minimum number of points I got per race, per, per driver, per race, per, uh, per constructor, obviously. The grouping is always the same and i've got a count 
Uh, let me write that big and keep it consistent. Then I've got count, which is basically how many races I have done. And uh, and then um, the final one is average, which is AVG. And I'm just going to call it AVE. Right. So, and that is basically the way you work with aggregate functions. And these are basically all aggregate functions. And then if I run the query, you can see now sum is eight, uh, 76 points. His maximum, his best position was like eight, eight points. His maximum points, so he, the best position he had was a position which delivers eight points. And the number of phrases he did were nine. And here were 12. And so on and see this guy did the whole season so basically 19 this the season here was probably 21 so he did like 9 for this team and 12 for this team and so on. you can see here that's the whole um thing uh, i'm missing the average there's the average these are the average points and you can see here so that's basically how you work with um aggregate functions in sql and um What's to remember is the aggregate functions are quite simple. You have to give them a you, a best is to, to give that field a name because what you're doing here, you're just creating a new field and hence you need to give it a, a name. Name doesn't matter. You pick any name you want. I just pick these for the shortness. And then the most important thing when using aggregate functions, you have to group by the fields, by the remaining fields in your select, which are not being summed so i have to group by all of these fields otherwise i have to remove one or two of them if i can't group by that field or it doesn't make any sense to group by that field and then the other thing is that when you wish to filter a query having aggregate functions you can't use where you, you have to use having but like the rest of the you know the, the the filter statement is basically identical to where except the keyword is having instead of where